The school, now how did the school work? So this boy would drive the pony? Yes, yes, Tony Crawford. Uh -huh. It was in charge of the pony. And, uh, and he'd set off at what time, what sort of time of morning? Oh, he'd be at school at nine, half past nine. Mm -hmm. And name. that was, what was the name of the school? Sean Fregan. Sean Fregan School. Fregan Public School out in the country. Mm -hmm. And it was always female teachers. There never was a male teacher all the years. Oh, why was that then? I don't know, there were always female teachers. Right, uh-huh. And, and when, how many pupils would be at that the school? Oh, oh, there was quite a lot. And I mean, they started at five. Mm -hmm. And they were there till they were 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what, how many would there be at a time? Oh, there would be up to 20. Ah. And the teacher in each one of the classes. Uh-huh. The wee It would just be the one teacher? Just one teacher. There's always just one teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss Jenkins. I remember Miss, and Mrs. Mitchell mm -hmm. was the name of the teacher we started when she was a married lady. Mm -hmm. Her husband worked on the road. Mm -hmm. And then there was Miss Jenkins and her sister stayed with her. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. And would there be a schoolhouse next door to the oh, school? Oh, it, it was attached to the school. Ah. Ah, it's mm -hmm. a the school was just attached to the end. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And what would happen for like a play piece or lunchtime? It's, it's a choice to carry with you. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, we took our spread pieces. They usually be scored because we didn't have a robotic, a bit of the body, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mother would have made. Uh, because we didn't have bread, we didn't have uh, baker's mm -hmm. farms way up at Mercro. No, no, no. Very seldom had bread. Uh -huh. We used to say when we do so we read, we cut the crust off and spread it with butter. <laughs> <laughs> what would be on the scorn or the bannock? Oh, it would be butter, and if the coy was dry, it would be margarine. Uh huh. Because it would, it uh -huh. would be, uh, it would be jam, whatever mother had in the cupboard, mm -hmm. jam it she had made. She would have made it. Yes, uh -huh. there would be never a boot jam. No. Uh, but rubber, but rubber, rubber was easy to grow. Rubber jam. Because there would be no berries to get in the Mhm. Mhm. And where would they get the margarine when there was no oh, butter? Oh, the margarine well. Mother, uh, mother got big boxes of stuff for tap buttons, and uh, such as Glasgow, and it came to Pohuana, it came to the wee post office with the buses for Glasgow, <coughs> but with margarine and different supplies, it things it wasn't perishable. Oh. Uh, and we went with the powder machine and collected this. Every uh, sea oh. often ah. brought it in. Right, for the supplies. Uh -huh. I, I wonder how they would order them, because there would be no telephones. To oh, order. She would have a way of writing in the sending in the messages. Right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Putting in an order. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Templeton's actually was in the bits where the Templeton's and Glasgow was in the bits where the big boxes of messages, big wooden boxes messages. Mm -hmm. Such as for soup and mm -hmm. uh, cereals and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think it wasn't perishable. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the margin, the margin is coming great big slab. Mm -hmm. Feather got it, bit grease. <laughs> bit grease. <laughs> <laughs> and at the school, um, and at the lights at lunchtime, would you have your piece then too? Aye, and we took a flask. A tin flask uh -huh. with an ordinary cork in it. Uh -huh. uh, mother would put the tea in. The, the tea is ready to the teapot. And you took the tin flask away. Mm -hmm. Set it on the hobs, the mm -hmm. fireplace, if there's no open fire to skill. Oh. And uh, set it there with the cork out. And uh, it was nice and warm when mm -hmm. it came for the mm -hmm. to come on, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To go about my milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And would the boy, would he get away back home with the pony? No, no, heavens no, he no. didn't get his lessons at the school. Oh, because he was also attending the school. Oh, he was I know, wasn't he left the school, is Right, uh-huh. I know, Tony right. Crawford was still... So what did the pony do, Adi? The pony was in, in well, in the summer time, it was in a field, mm -hmm. in a, a field on a farm near the school. Mm -hmm. And then in the winter time, it was in a stable, near the school, mm -hmm. in a shepherd's stable near the mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And we had to walk the mile 
til smilen på den grønne bøgne. Åh, oh my god. Det er kun i 1960'erne i skole, der var sådan her. Så det var quite a quite an undertaking. Well, well, it was with the Bushway, dear. Aye, aye. And a four-way, a four-month mother fight, food for a pony and drop to get us to the school. And it was time for Mimi and Nellie and I, and we all went to school to start together. We all started school together, the three of us. And she fought for a pony and drop. Because she used to take us so far with the horses and gear, the big horses and the gear. And, and let us out there on Don Watton. She mm -hmm. met us at night. Mm -hmm. The horse is here. They were broke. Goodness. And how many miles would that be? Oh, it was about five miles here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there would then be a wee in, in the cart as well. Mm -hmm. If she mm -hmm. took the wee in, we have to say there would be a wee in the hill. Mm -hmm. I wonder what she would set the wee in on the cart. Oh, it would be a box. <laughs> a box? <laughs> it would be a box. <laughs> The cart was just an open cart. Ah, ah. Uh, it would be sitting in a box. In a box on the back right. of the cart. Uh, inside the cart. Uh -huh. Inside the cart. Had you to wear anything special at the school? No. Just whatever you were. Oh, I just. What would you do for clays? I mean, what, what, where would you get clays? Mother, mother was a great horn for. We had that feather had their sheep. Maybe a couple of sheep pets in his bargain. Again, part of the bargain, and the wool was sent to the mills for to be turned into twine, mm -hmm. as such. And mother was a great horn, her big, her treadle sewing machine, she was real handy mm -hmm. for sewing. Mm -hmm. And she always sent for welding's patterns. Mm -hmm. We had to tell her well, yes. well, she always sent for books of welding's patterns. Mm -hmm. and, and she got the patterns to be there. And I mean, at one stage, she, she sent away the wool and went to the mills and it was tartan that she bought and she bought, she made us three all idiots tartan. She made me a nice tartan fruit oh. and, and mine was a, a skirt and a kidney tope and Nellie's was the same. Oh. And she had the patterns for the uh -huh. for welded. Uh -huh. She did a lot of sewing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they would last for a while. Oh, we did the wash them every day. Uh -huh. The winter, the winter uh -huh. wear. Heavy. And would would they make things out of the likes of the fluid bags? Oh, heavens, your shirts were all made of these fluid bags. Because the man went big, had them six to put in water, couldn't he? <laughs> the fluid bag was a beautiful white coat, uh -huh. but this had them six to put in whatever it was. <laughs> It never could be with bleach and boil in the room. That was the air in the flue. And that was the weight of the flue that had been in it. <laughs> it was the weight. Uh -huh. And the mother made all her chemises. She didn't talk with shirts. Oh. Your chemises. Your chemises. She made your chemises with, with the flue boys with all. Mm. And about 160 pounds of the boxes. <laughs> That didn't do it. No, no just... she was getting cheap and I think. Uh -huh. And it caught the there were ten steam bugs of fluid always. Uh-huh. And they were the best of cotton. And know. it would last for a while. Well have us boil the boil they were put in the put and boiled in the fire uh -huh. so boy, yeah. And would you ever dye them or would they just be the colour yes, of the fluid Yes, yes, mother dyed them occasionally and mm -hmm. made it knit the curtains, so we short curtains with them. Oh. That was sort of short curtains, I remember. Uh-huh. She was good with her hands, she was good with the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. She was gifted in that way. Mm -hmm. Wait, and at the school would you learn sewing and knitting? Oh heavens, I would make sure we got to, we had to sew or we had always, the losses had other seam. Mm -hmm. He made the chemises. Sittings, horns, horns, shabizes, or he made p pinifers. Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher would cut them out, he took the material and the teacher cut them out. Mm -hmm. And the boys did the netting and it was beautiful. Fancy, he did stoke it right up to their knees. Mm -hmm. They did the netting, there was always an afternoon for the boys' netting and the lasses so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I always remember Gourley all, big fancy born for Ken Bob come visiting at the school. No or the or sewing person it was it was a, a chemise I was doing it and it was uh, it wasn't a coat and it was a warm kind of thing. And he said this is rather bad what he meant this is rather a dangerous sort of material. 
En als je in de eerste woord nu hoort, als je het zo'n woord voor gunnen op de dos, dan was dat een goede man die was een woord in Flemmerbond. Oh, nee, ik kan dat. Ik kan het niet zien. Oh, zie je. Oh, nee. Dit is een mooi, goed lekker kind, man. Oh, ik ben blij. Ik ben blij. Ik ben 